Hello everyone, it's Java here, and today I am in Vatashran Hollows. And what I wanted to show you um, and give you some tips and advice on is how to unlock the Void Pitch die color, which is a fantastic black. I think it's like one of the best black uh, die colors in the game. Uh, you see I've got it on my MagSorc here. Uh, so there's several different things that you have to do in order to unlock that die color and all of the little achievements can be done on normal so there's no need to, to um, torture yourself or beat your head against the wall if you're not ready to um, do Vatashran on, on VET yet. And so let me go through and show you what, what all you'll need to do. So under here under the achievements under Markarth. It's all of these honor to the spirit blood achievements. So once you do each of these you'll get that void pitch black. So this first one, Scattered Spirits, there are um, different essence boosts in each of the three portals. So you have like the green, the blue, and the red, and each portal has um, its own um, unique mechanics uh, and things that happen in there. The order that you do the portals does make a difference, so there is a preferred order to do them, um, depending on if you're a Magicka or a Stamina-based character, because the reason is certain portals you unlock an ability and that ability is needed in the next portal um, to get your essences or to get to side bosses, and we'll talk about side bosses in just a second. Um, but these, these three essences, Endurance, Mysticism, and Fortitude, relate to Stamina, Magicka, and Health. Now at any given time, you can only boost and find um, essences for two out of the three. So the first portal that you go in will determine um, what you can unlock. So if you are a Magicka based character, you want to boost your Magicka and your health. You're going to go in the green portal first, then then blue, then red. So Magicka, your preferred order is green, blue, red. Now if you're a stamina based character, your preferred order, it preferred portal order is to do blue, red, green. And that will allow you to boost your health and your stamina. Uh, and these essence boosts are, are pretty nice. When you pick up the first essence, you get a 5k boost um, to whichever stat um, you just picked up, picked it up for. And then in the rest of that portal area, um, there will be a total of five um, orbs that spawn, and each orb that you find will boost that stat another 1k. So all total, you find um, all five orbs which is needed for this achievement, plus um, the original essence one, you'll boost that stat by 10k. So that that's pretty sweet. Um, 10k boost to magic and a 10k boost to health or 10k boost to, to stamina and health. Um, definitely a, a, a nice uh, little buff for yourself and all you got to do is find these essences. <clears throat> so the next achievement that you need to do is the Seeker of the Hollows. And in each portal, there is a side boss that you have to go and find and kill. Um, now again, depending on the order that you do the portals, depends on what um, access you'll have to be able to get to these side areas. Uh, so I'll show you, and, and you're going to have to do two runs um, in order to get both of these achievements. Because like I said, you, because of the order you do it, there'll be one area that you can't either get the essences or get to a side boss. Um, so the first time through, maybe do it, you know, if you're on a magic character, do it gr green, blue, red, and then the next time on the same character, even even though you're going to lose out um, boosting magic a bit on um, normal, it's not so bad. But it, the second run, do like blue, red, green, and that will get you all the essences and you'll be able to get to all the side bosses. Um, so I'll show you where to go to get to these side bosses. And the next achievement, Firewalker, and you don't have to do them in this order. I'm just reading them off the list in order. <laughs> but uh, Firewalker, um, in the red portal, the mechanic there is to use a brimstone orb so that it will allow you, it will shield you for a, a few seconds, 
I think it's like maybe 16 seconds. So you can run on top of the lava without taking damage and dying. Um, to get it, you have to run a total of 10 kilometers on the lava, which is um, actually quite a lot. It, it took me, I think I split this up and did this in three different runs just because um, I kind of got bored trying to run around on the lava to unlock it. Uh, but once you're in that portal and you've unlocked the brimstone orb, you can just use it and, and just run back and forth between points because those orbs will respawn. So you can stay in there as long as you like. If you really wanted to try to run 10k uh, in one go, you could. Um, it's totally up to you how you want to achieve that. But it will accumulate, so you can do this in multiple runs. Um, the next one is this Trapped Between Worlds. And this is spend 10 minutes affected by the Wounding Portal. So the Wounding Portal is a mechanic that happens in the blue portal. Um, and spending 10 minutes really isn't that difficult to do when you're in there and are just playing the game normally. Uh, so you don't really have to try too hard to wind up spending you know, that amount of time in there. The last achievement you need is this high flyer and it is to use the grappling hook. The grappling hook or grappling bow comes from the green portal and it's just to use it 500 times. So you can just, if you, again, if you want to do it in one go, just pick a couple of grappling points and literally just like back and forth, back and forth until you get to 500. Um, you will use the grappling bow um, quite a bit, getting just you know, doing the regular um, gameplay in this. So um, I think I split it up again because I was doing the, the lava thing like between three runs, and I did spend some time, you know maybe doing you know, 100 and then that sounds awful but it goes fast just you know blip 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 back and forth till you get to 500 but once you have all of those you will get this void pitch die color so having said all that um and i'm not going to go like crazy deep into builds and stuff here uh, but one thing i wanted to mention is uh, a lot of folks will tell you uh, or advise you that you run this Ring of the Pale Order when doing solo content or arenas. Uh, it does give you a very nice self-heal um, as long as you're damaging something. So uh, you don't have to cast an extra heal. Um, you're just getting, getting that automatically as long as you're attacking something. Um, for me personally on this particular character and the build setup that I run, um, I did test it out and um, I found I just I felt underpowered because I had to sacrifice running a two-piece monster set um, so uh, and also on her I am running um, crit surge I have the twilight matriarch morph, morph so she has a heal and the damage shield that um, Magsork has very very good damage shield uh, so yeah I mean it, it does mean I'm having to, to keep crit surge up and going um, but I really found I just I didn't need the the pale order ring uh, and, and I just liked it better running this setup probably because I'm just comfortable with it this is pretty much um, the same setup I use in vet maelstrom and I'm just so used to running it that um, I, I'm so comfortable with it it's not even a big deal to keep crit surge up and to just have that instant heal with the matriarch if you're on a different class have different setups absolutely um, ring of hell order can can definitely help you especially if you don't have a good self heal and you're struggling with it I could see um, certain stamina characters where you, all you have is vigor that's your heal um, you throw pale order a ring on and then um, that could be a game changer for you so just depending on your setup or build, just wanted to stress you do not have to have Pale Order Ring to come in here and do this, especially on normal, but it can make your life uh, easier. So I'm going to summon my pets and head into the green portal, which each of these portals are themed to a different Daedric Prince. Green is Hircine's Realm. Okay, so uh, if you have not done the uh, 
Fattish Rank watched it, or you haven't been in here yet. <laughs> Adolin, I, I love that character. He he is very funny. I, I really like him. Highly recommend paying attention to him if you haven't been in here before. Okay, thing to note. Uh, the first portal that you go into, the monsters will not be at full strength yet. So you kind of get like a, a little warm-up, if you will. And... Illustrate. I I'm, I'm not gonna go for you know any any crazy amounts of damage here. And you see how how easy stuff pretty much dies. Um, another thing, um, and this is true for every every portal in here. You do not have to kill all the enemies in uh, the arena. So uh, you can bypass a lot of them. The only ones that you have to kill are certain gatekeepers like that one to be able to get through this little portal. But like those over there, I'm just going to like keep on running and not even mess with them. In Vet, you do get uh, more points the more things you kill. But it's just you know up to you if you if you want to mess it with it usually it's just better to just like speed on through and just uh, you know not worry about trying to kill everything okay first little mini gatekeeper guy this is introducing you to a mechanic here um, that you'll need for this first boss so I had to kill this Spriggan to get a blessing to be able to damage this guy so that's gonna come into play here in just a second. Like I said, I'm just pretty much taking it easy doing this heavy attack build. Um, if you had done the red portal before coming in here, this side area down here is where you would come you would find a brimstone orb down there so that you could start running on the lava to get um, to the green essence unlock. Since I have not done the red portal yet, I can't do that, so obviously I'm not going to be able to get any green essences in here, which is fine. I'm on magic character. Um, but that's where you would go, is down here. Okay, so there's the Spriggans down there. I'm going to have to kill them get their blessing they should just wham die okay so now I've got the blessing so these lurchers will pop up and once you damage the first guy down to a certain health he'll you know shell up and the next one comes out damage him once I get him down to a certain point he will summon his buddy back and there'll be two of them. Yeah. You want to keep damaging the one that has this yellowy green aura on them. Okay, so I've got this little tether thing on me. That this, and I didn't get over to interrupt her in time. Um, if you see that tether on you, the Spriggan's trying to steal the blessing back from you. If you don't interrupt them in time, they'll steal it. Your screen turns blue. You gotta kill a Spriggan to get the blessing back so you can damage the boss again. And he's not the right guy. So you just keep damaging the one that's at some point, depending on your DPS, especially in bet, you'll have all three of them up at the same time. And the main thing is just keep damaging the one that has the yellow or green aura on them and watch out for a Spriggan that's trying to steal the blessing. And that's it. Save mechanics on normal as in bet. Okay. The side boss area in here. Again, I'm not going to be able to get to it um, because I have not done the red portal first. Um, the normal path is under that archway to continue with the rest of, of this portal area. But to get to the side boss, you want to come through here. And by killing those lurchers, you've unlocked the grappling bow. So now you can grapple around and just be careful not to fall off here. You would grapple up here 
and run down and down here you would find one of those orbs to use to be able to run on the lava to get back to the side boss that's in here. Um, the side boss that's back there, he's a Nixox that likes to jump around a bunch of platforms. He's not too terrible to deal with, he's just annoying because he just you're always having to grapple. About the time you put down an AoE, he hops to another platform and you're just constantly chasing him through the fight. Um, so that's the side, side boss for the green area. We're going to continue on. And here are those grappling points. Like I said, if you're trying to unlock that high flyer, you could literally just sit here and go back and forth like this if you wanted. If you get to 500, or as many as you feel like. I, one of the things that I do like about Vatishran versus um, other arenas is each portal, I mean, it's kind of has the feel of a mini dungeon rather than being like locked into an arena like Maelstrom or, or Dragonstar or Black Rose Prison. So um, I, do, I do like that you're just going through kind of like a mini dungeon and that each is that each area is themed to a certain Daedric Prince, right? Grapple. And I love, I got, I love the grappling bow mechanism. Um, I was so excited when it got introduced in, um, I can't remember if it was Dragon Holder or whatever, uh, when it was. Uh, and I, I really was like, oh yeah, grappling bow, I want to grapple everywhere. I was kind of disappointed that there's not more opportunities in the open world PvE side. Um, I know there's an achievement in Southern Elsewhere you can get for grappling, but I was just like excited to ha that you know they put this in Unhallowed Grave and in and, and Vatishray and that it's actually a mechanism you have to use. I just find it fun. Ugh, I can't even... <laughs> My aim is so bad. And so I'm mostly just taking this. I'm, I'm playing a little bit lazy. Just, uh, just kind of to highlight that you don't have to go in here hardcore unless you know if you're on bet and trying to score push, obviously. But um, just to get the clear and the achievements, you you don't have to go full bore. All right. Speaking of full bore, how about a minotaur? Alright, minotaur guy. So, start damaging him, and he is going to teleport away. Pretty up, there he goes, or grab away, jump, whatever. <clears throat> and I'm going to have to chase him, so. <laughs> he ran off the edge there. Uh, one of the things to notice with him is the color. Okay, so there, he just enraged and changed color. He's now matching. You've got these four colors that are blue or red. When he enrages like that, you've got to bring him over to a different color so you can start damaging him again. Uh, if he's matching the color when he enrages, he'll, he's like invincible. And that attack right there, you've got to block or dodge roll, uh, especially on, I mean, on vet, that's, that will kill you. Keep it an eye. Okay, on these four corners, you've got these ghosty spirit guys. There they go. Whoops. Okay, you have 20 seconds to go around. Once they start channeling that um, ability, you've got to interrupt them because what they're going to do is set whichever platform they're facing um, opposite. They will set it on fire. On vet, if the platform becomes engulfed in flame, uh, it will kill you. On normal, with a good damage shield, you can live through it. Uh, when he en enrages like that, he's vulnerable, gotta go s switch sides again. Uh, when he enrages like that, uh, he will summon archers. 
they don't have a lot of health so you can get rid of them just so they stop taking pot shots because they can just get annoying. Um, yep, they started their little channel. Sometimes I'll try crushing shock, but it tends to, I have issues trying to target them from that distance, so usually it's just better for me to just go bash them. It's not too hard. And in worst case, if you don't get to all four of them, just try to make sure you've got at least two, one of each color, um, open so that you can switch between blue and red if you need to to kill the guy. It's like, yeah, there he goes. And if you block when he jumps, he won't knock you down. I'm just going to try to him and get rid of him now because he's that, that close to dead. So there you go. That's um, this whole boss fight. And that is the end of the green portal. That's all there is to that. So those same mechanics, um, those all apply in VET. So that's what's kind of nice about um, Vatashrian is like the mechanics that you see in normal are the exact same ones that you'll have to deal with in Vet. Um, you just get things that hit harder, have more health. All right, we've got the green portal cleared. We've got the grappling bow. So now, because of Magicka character, I'm going to go to the blue. <laughs> what an oblivion is this? Great light. Love it, love it. Alright. The wounding. So the blue portal is Molog Balls themed. Um, he's the Daedric Prince uh, for this area. I mean, you don't actually fight Molog Ball, but his minions are here. Uh, you probably noticed the uh, screen popped up. So the monsters, you know, in the first portal you go into are, are at, you know, a weakened or reduced um, state. When you, you go to the second portal, I'll, I'll call it, they're on medium. So they've increased in, in health and the amount of damage that they will do. Still not at full strength yet. Um, and I'm just going to kill these guys just because. But again, you, you can bypass these if you wanted to. Here is she's a little gatekeeper. Have to kill her to be able to get through this door. Oh, my food wore off. Uh, I'm gonna need some food. Others for the recovery. Alright. Get rid of these. And there's usually yeah, a little banking guy. And we'll get this twilight. And probably go ahead and play the ogre. Come up here, Mr. Ogre. Come into my lightning. Okay. From here, this is the main path to continue to the dungeon and um, get to the first boss in here. But since we've done the green portal, we're going to take this side path using the grappling bow because this is going to get to the place to unlock the blue essence. Which will boost our Max Magicka. And other than those uh, two little scamps at the first, I don't think there's, I don't call anything in here that's going to kill you. It's mostly just grappling and running to it, yeah. 
Yeah, I try to like grapple uh, to the next platform without touching it. Haven't haven't 100% made it yet. Okay, so up here is the essence of mysticism. This is like blue orb with kind of this purpley glow around it. The the main essence you have to actually interact with in order to get it. So now that just boosted my magicka by 5k and what it's done is it will now reveal and I'll be able to see the other orbs in this um, portal area to get them. There'll be a total of five. So if I find them all I will boost my magicka by another 5k. And for the achievement, you have to find them all. Um, okay. And now you'll start seeing me looking in, in side areas. Uh, there are like certain spawn locations where those orbs can can spawn, but it's, it's random as to exactly where each time you run through this, um, where the five will be. Okay, this bridge. Um, avoid the little lightning things. They they do hurt. She's annoying. They do hurt uh, kind of bad on bet. So okay, she is kind of the gatekeeper, because right up through that little portal up that ramp is going to be our first boss encounter in here. And she's dead. Alright, I did not see any blue orbs down here. Alright, onward. <clears throat> Alright, so this boss. Um, he summons a big nasty flesh Atronach and you want to ideally try to get them both down at the same time because if you take one down the other will enrage and, and get their health back up to about 50% and um, they just I think they get more resistances probably and they're, and they're a little harder to take down um, so ideally you want to try to take them both down at the same time if you can't I've found um, it's better if you're going to end up taking one down, take the mage guy here, Zacharin, down and then leave the flesh after knock up for last because he is a pain um, if he's left up. Uh, he does have a channeling ability where he'll channel throwing skulls at you, kind of like the last boss of um, Maelstrom Arena. So you have to interrupt those when he starts that. Let's see if my... Lightning's up, so I gotta watch for him if he starts. Of course, he teleported right out of. Yeah, that. Right there. Interrupt that. Okay, Flesh, Antronaut guy, see that big ground AoE? Um, that is really nasty. You do not want to be in that. Um, it will kill you on vet. Um, ah, shoot. Um, when he's shielded up, I can't damage him and what you want to have happen is you want to have the flesh atronach put that uh, that big round thing to bust this guy's shield. Um, I am not real good on positioning because about the time I swear I get him in position. There we go. Come on, bust him. That wasn't the right attack. About the time I get him in position he likes to teleport away. There we go. That should bust it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Where is? I want to try to damage him some more. Yes. Damage your master. There we go. There we go. And that's the way you want to try to do it. Get them both down al almost at the same time. But yeah, try to drag the flesh astronaut guy around um, to bust that shield to get that big um, AoE circle on the boss. When he's shielded up, it will break it so you can start damaging him again. I think there's also an achievement, those, those scamps from Bankins or whatever that, that spawn out of the portals. 
uh, if you get enough of them in the Atronox like ground slam thing, I think it's Pulverize actually, it will um, give you another achievement for that. So okay, I've killed the first boss in the blue area and that's unlocked the mechanism for the wounding portal. So now I can use this portal and the thing with this place is basically you want to run through here as fast as you can, use these sigil things and to uh, add more time to get through here. If you're trying, I think these do actually count against you if you're trying to do on vet a uh, no sigil run. Um, so you would need a speed buff to run through there. But basically the whole point of that place is to run through to the end, grab any orbs if you see them, and pull the chain. So don't get bogged down trying to kill um, the mobs. Just run past them and uh, go yank the chain. was camouflage there. Alright, for whatever reason, this guy right here tends to have a little more health or resistances or something. He tends to take a little longer, so I'm just gonna drop ultimate to get rid of him. For whatever reason, he's he's like the one of the tougher ones to take down. I've noticed in there. Aha! See up ahead, there is finally a blue orby thing. Give me the orby. I'm just gonna run up here and grab it. Um, so unlike when you get the first essence of the area, all you got to do here, you don't interact with it. You just get close to it, and you'll automatically absorb it. Um, the eyeball thing, I try not to get close to it because it'll put a debuff on you. Um, so just try to stay away from it. Ogrim guy, just like the Ogrims in Maelstrom Arena. Just stop. Spits fire, pounds on chest. Okay, my pets are going to go try to kill the eye. I'm going to go up here in the portal. And I'm going to see if I can make it run into the end without using the sigils. Maybe we have the Sork. I've got the Boundless Storm so I can give myself a little bit of a speed boost. Uh-oh. That's not good. If you run out of time, there is a timer in here. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck behind that thing. Uh, all it does is it teleports you back and you just got to start over and rerun it. But I want to see if I can make it without using the sigils. So I'm not seeing... Run. You can see that eyeball put a debuff on me. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm going to use the sigil. <sighs> no more Orby thing. Alright. Pull the chain. Alright. Pull the chain and that brought down the bridge. Get to the next area. Oh, there's an orb, yeah! B -b 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 that gave me two orbs. And... Okay. To continue, if you just want to go to the final boss, which we're, we're going to hit the side boss since uh, I can, you're, we would go through that portal to unlock um, that little bridgeway, but I'm going to go over here and grapple to get to the side boss. Oh, another orb. So what I'm at, I am now at three. Oh, there, number four. So I've gotten four out of five. There's only one more orb in this whole area. Alright. Zoom, zoom. Doc, 
look on you. So yeah, I would. I think you you would need speed po potions, ring of the wild hunt, something to be able to run through here. Because I don't think I can even I can't do it with just that little speed buff I have from Boundless Storm. All right. Side boss. So what this guy likes to do is make copies of himself and then he'll go hide in another area. So you have to kill the copy which will open up a portal so that you can get to him and go back to damaging him. He's hard ready. <laughs> okay. And I mean obviously this stuff really hurts on vet. I'm just apparently not heavy attacking him for some reason. There we go. Alright, into the portal. Hello, friendo. Yeah, and he likes to, yeah, CC you and then do that AoE thing. And then Lich Crystal. And now he's done his thing and kill his little copy again. I guess the mimic. Sometimes my doggone pets get in the way of me targeting. Alright. And depending on how your DPS is going, it. Oh, get out of that. See? Hate his CCs. Oh, and now you're gonna channel that thing. I bobbled that one, so I'm getting an extra mimic. <laughs> All right, we're going down. right back into his AoE. There we go. He's dead. <clears throat> so that's the side boss for the blue area. Now we're going to grapple back and unlock the area for final boss. Hopefully, my last Orby thing is in this portal. So, Joel. Hmm. Did not see the orb. I guess it could be back here with the last boss, but usually I've found them before I get to here. Hmm. Alright. Well, there was a fifth <laughs> fifth orb somewhere back in there. Um, this boss, Titan guy, he's just going to stay in the center. Um, go ahead and drop an ultimate. Um, his Cold fire and his claw swipe can really hurt. Just be sure uh, you have good damage and, and self healing. Now, here's the thing that happens with them: there are watchers, those uh, eyeball Daedra things that spawn up top, and they start shooting laser beams of death down at you. But you do not want to touch those. Uh, you can, if and I 
think this eyeball thing puts an enfeeblement. If you line up his cold fire, it should kill. I think it damages uh, that eyeball. Anyway, you can come up here if you get too many of these bugging you with laser beams. And come. Oh, there's my orb. Wow. Okay, get the orb. <laughs> Suckers. All right. You can come up here and uh, kill the watchers. Yeah, I think it's cold fire thing dead. Oh, oh, I just missed it. I think that's a way you can get rid of the, the enfeeblement um, eyeball. Is you you line up so that his cold fire will hit it, so it'll stop putting uh, whichever debuff it's putting on you. Um, but that's the mechanics in here. Just avoid the laser beam eyes of death, that, that enfeeblement thing. Um, if you if you aren't, um, or if you are having a little bit of trouble um, with, the, with him, um, you can try to line up the cold fire so that he'll damage that, that eyeball guy, or the eyeball of enfeeblement a couple times. Um, go up to the top, deal with the watchers if you need to. Um, but pretty much just spank him. <laughs> and that's it for the blue portal. Okay, on to the red. And we've got a little chest out here to open. You know some more of these strange void energy things. Hmm, I wonder what that's gonna be. Alright, last portal, the Brimstone Den. Uh, this one is all Mehrun's Dagon theme, so everything in here is fire and lava. Monsters are now at full strength. So yeah, everything in here, fire and lava. things because now that we've done the blue portal you can see over there we've unlocked a wounding portal within here and that's how we're going to go get our red essences to boost our health. And we have not unlocked the brimstone orb yet we've got to kill the first boss in here to do that so you will need to shield up uh, when we run across lava here all right into the portal go 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 and this does have a timer on it just like it did in the blue area all right shield up and pay attention. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna use these sigils. Oh, 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 don't die. Lava burns. All right, shield. All right. And up here is the red. Essence of fortitude, absorb that. And now that has given me a 5k boost to my health. And we'll be able to see other red orbs in here to snatch them. Okay, this Daedroth is a gatekeeper guy. Have to kill him. Looking for orbs. Sometimes there's one over here. Nope. Annoying clan fear ninja jump. Okay. Don't see. 
see any red. Scamp. And Brimstone Warden is basically crematorial guard. Just like in Maelstrom. Use my little circle technique so he doesn't read the fire on me and put that massive dot. And that did it. Gates open. Gonna look over here. Yep, there's a red orb. Grab it. Okay. This first boss here in the red zone is the Magma Queen. She's this happy little fiery Nyx ad, and she likes to summon ads. Um, basically, don't let the ads pile up on you. She'll summon an Iron Atrox. Scamps will keep coming out of the portals. Um, so don't let them pile up on you, or, or you will get overwhelmed. Uh, at certain points, she will summon a Lava Geyser uh, that's like what you've seen in Bloodroot Forge that just starts, uh, the geyser opens up and then just starts spitting uh, lava balls at you. Uh, I think the mechanic to plug it is to actually kill the Iron Atronach and he'll drop a stone and then you synergize the stone to throw in to plug the lava. Um, I mean, having a, a really good damage shield um, on the Sork, I tend to just let the, la the lava geysers go. Um, and I'm, I haven't had trouble even on vet. It wasn't a big a big deal for me, um, but I think that is the official mechanic to to plug it is grab whatever stone the iron atronach drops and throw it in into the geyser. And then the last thing she does is um, she'll have walls of fire that come across and sw just sweep across. So that's all the mechanics that she does. Here we go. And here come the scams. And there's Fire Natro. He's down. She does teleport away, and I think that's what. And there's the walls of fire. So I think when she teleports, that's when. I'm just gonna drop a little bit. That's when she opens up the laser, lava geyser, and let's see if I can pick up. Yes, use the rock. So the iron astronaut, you kill him. Use the rock. Oh, let me shield up, but that actually went very quickly. Uh, I said I, it, it's not. It's not terrible. Seems like a lot, just don't let the ads pile up is, is the main thing. And that's pretty much true with everything in Vatashran. Just don't let the ads start piling up to the point that they overwhelm you. And I'm just looking for red orbs. Sometimes there's some that spawn back there. Don't see anything. Okay. So here's the brimstone orb. And to use it, you need to be fairly close. You don't have to be right on top of it, but if you're too far away, it won't put the shield on you. So you heavy attack it, and now you've got this uh, lava shield for several seconds, and even though you're yelling in pain, you can run around on the lava without taking damage. So that's how you do the uh, Firewalker achievement. <laughs> you gotta just run 10k on lava doing that. Said these orbs do keep respawning. And I'm gonna go back here to go next area. Run, run, run. I don't see. I don't see any red orbs. here. Nope. You can also hear if you get close to them and you don't see it, they make kind of a, a whooshy, <laughs> a whoosh, I don't know, they, they make a sound. 
if you get close to a red orb, or not, or any orb actually. All right, run, run, run. Uh, see the giant flame colossus guy. Uh, there's actually an achievement, or not achievement, but you get a whole lot of points in that for killing him. Again, he's he's optional as are most of these things are optional whether you kill them or not. Um, but I think you get 15,000 points on that if you kill him. Otherwise, if you don't want to mess with him, you don't have to. You can you can totally bypass him. And we're going to run here to the left because back here there's usually red orbs plus this is where um, uh, aha, see one just pause run and we're going to aggro him. We're going to go ahead and kill him. There's usually red orbs back here and the uh, hidden boss is in this area. So the main thing with him, yeah, he likes to stomp. He likes to summon his skeleton buddies. We're just going to up that. And then he'll start doing like a rain of fire thing that's nasty. That thing right there. Kind of keep dodging, and you're fine. Did you kill him? All his little minions go away. And run back here. Just checking to see if there's an orb hiding here. Nope. All right, ah, it's up in the portal area. All right, so we're gonna use the portal. Uh, use this portal to, we're gonna unlock that back area over there to get to the hidden boss. Go grab that, come on. All right, notice sometimes, I don't know what this, this thing that spawns And I didn't, I was distracted. <laughs> I was trying to figure out, sometimes I see this NBC, like right there. I don't know, bound to chill fiend. Who is he? Why are you here? Anyway, your whole goal is, yeah, to go up there, um, pull the lever, grab any red orbs. And now that back gate is open so we can go get to the um, hidden boss. More lava running. Like I said, you've got the little timer. You can see when it's about to run out and you can maximize your lava running time doing that. Okay. Iron Atronach out here. He... And there's Red Orb back there. Okay. He pretty much just walks around the outside of the island like that and throws fire at you and so just shield and keep moving with them try to avoid the worst of it but even then it's not even on vet this wasn't too bad again I know the sort of damage shields really really good open the chest and then I'll go get out of combat. Maybe. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the orb to go grab that red one and then start running back. Stamina rebuild. And run 
run back. So you can see that you could keep running back and forth like from from here to there like all over just this is how you get your your running on lava for 10 kilometers achievement. jumping skills. Okay, and I'm gonna do a little sweep around these pillars. Let's make sure there's nothing hidden. Now we're gonna go back to the area so we can get to the final boss for the red zone. Okay, on this little platform, here's the gatekeeper guy, and you can honestly ignore the ads. Just focus the warden here, and once he goes down, everybody else disappears. There we go. He's gone. Okay. Final area. Let's see. Ah, there's the red orb. Okay. Grab it. Okay. Okay. So fire higher lord guy. So what he does at uh, a certain, like, per I'm sure it's a certain percentage health, um, he will uh, do this, like, pinwheel flamey spin thing where, like, just jets of fire are shooting out at, at different points from him. You don't want to get um, caught taking damage from those jets, they really, really hurt and will kill you very, very quickly. Uh, if you're a melee DPS, you can um, get yourself in between the wedge and keep turning with it um, to be able to, to stay on him. If you're ranged DPS, you can just like back off and let the thing spin and, and keep killing him while it spins until that ends. After that, he will summon one of those bone flamey colossus guys uh, to come in, in, and help him out. You can pretty much ignore it unless um, your DPS is kind of going really, really slow and he keeps summoning them and you don't want like two or three of those uh, stacked up on you because they summon those you know, extra little skeletons and uh, they can hit really hard you just you don't want multiple flame colossus guys on you uh, so if you, those start piling up get rid of them and then go back to focusing on the boss the other thing he does is he will drive his sword down into the platform and the whole platform starts to turn to lava there will be one of those brimstone orbs on on one of these corners you have to run to it shield yourself up so that you can live through the entire uh, floor is lava phase. Uh, he will also try to ignite, I think it's each, there's like these three corners, and I think that happens during the floor is lava phase when you've got that the shield on you. While you've got that shield, you want to run to it and um, absorb the flames he's trying to ignite there, because if he gets all three of those ignited, then he goes to the center and just like starts channeling this fire attack out at you, which can be nasty to, to keep dodging. Uh, then other than that, it's just uh, keep repeating it. There's no reason to go over to those portals for anything, um, unless like you just saw when I, I first came in, I saw there was a red orb, I go and grab it first thing, and now I'm not going to deal with those portals um, at all. Alright. Let's get the party started. And there's his flamey thing, so you whoa. 
and it does go kind of fast, so it's like, you want to stay, if you're melee DPS, you can stay on him like this and stay in between the jets. Yeah, now he's going to comment uh, when he says somebody wants to meet you. He's summoning, uh, there's the floor is lava. Uh, get right over here. Ouch, 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 ouch. Get the orb. Okay. Alright, now I want to run over here and absorb the fire. Ha. There we go. And now that is... I'm gonna go ahead and drop ultimate, but that was all the mechanics. So there's this flame spinning thing again. Make sure which way it's going. Just keep walking with it so it doesn't touch you. And he's dead. So that's how you deal with flame boss and the red portal. And now that you've cleared all three portals, now you're ready to go to the final boss. Alright, last boss. You need to jump into this center ring, and it's a portal, and you made it all the way to spoiler the alert, Adolin. Uh, I like you, Adolin. <laughs> Alright. Big, bad, lich, mama, creepy girl from scary movie well thing. Okay. Uh, just start out doing your damage on her. She will start summoning these shade colossuses um, and doing her weird gymnastic poses, just uh, stay out of the red and don't let the ads stack up, just kill them as, as they start coming out, just for good measure, because too many of these colossuses just get annoying. Okay, here's the mechanic. Your only like DPS check in here. So when this ring of her minions carrying this green chain and target her because too many colossuses. Alright, spam that. Alright, you have to break through and kill one of those things before they close it in the circle because when they blow up, if you're in the middle of that, it will kill you. If you touch the green energy chain, it will kill you. Uh, even on normal. Okay, she's down to 10%. She starts spreading. When you get her health down to 10%, she spreads this this big o AoE to try to blow up the platform. You have to go into one of the portals. And pay attention to the order, because you can't do the same portal twice. And whichever portal you do, uh, once you finish it, whatever was in there, you just want to kill this one mini-boss. Uh, you'll get that mechanic back in the main room once you kill it. Uh, don't worry about ads if you've got ads in here. There's only one at the end that I worry about. Your goal here is to get that mini boss dead as quickly as possible because every second you're in the void portal, she's healing up. So we had her at 10% and she got back up to 40% while we were in there. Alright, pick a mob. And just kill it to break the chain, walk through. Now, if you are on Sork or a Nightblade, you can use a class ability to get through that. Um, Sork can use Streak, and they will just zip right through that, and it will not hurt them. Um, Nightblades can use, um, I think it's one of their Shade, Teleport to Shade, if you've got that morph. Um, Nightblades can use that. and totally avoid having to kill the mob. Okay, so got her down. Now we're going to do the next portal. Get in there. 
you have to use the synergize. You have to eat a grapple if you're on PC. Uh, and then you have to use your synergy to actually go into the void portal. So yeah, that first portal I went into, kind of the blue portal, had like an ice mage. And his like main thing was he's trying to freeze you in place. This one has, you know, the Minotaur and he will put that that ground AoE that will snare you. And see now you see the Minotaur over there. Since I've killed him in that portal, now I have to deal with him in the main arena. Oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention to her health. <laughs> that was almost bad. Alright, this portal. You get... This is the only one that I will deal with the mob because I hate the little flame shaper guys. They do that thing right there, the spinny... Oof, get out of that. They do the, splin the, the spinning flame shot thing, and that is bad news. Uh, I've died one too many times from not catching the fact that one of those flame spinner guys was up. Alright, he is dead. Where's the portal? Where's the portal? Back here. Alright, so now you've done all the porters, portals. Pretty much just keep playing the mechanics. Watch out for Flame Shaper guys. Like that right there is going to be bad news. Oh, come on. Oof. Like that right there. Come on. So you can see I'm just like being a little bit messy and sloppy here. Archers are annoying. Oh, flame spinner guy. Stop. Mostly just like, for this final phase, just don't panic. Don't let the adds pile up. Stay out of red. Keep playing the mechanics and uh, you'll get through it. There we go. And that's it. That is the whole Vatashran Arena. All of those mechanics in each portal, exact same on um, VET. So there are your tips and tricks on how to get through there. Let's see what I got. Vatashran Lightning Staff. All right. So hope that helps you um, get through Vatashran and, and get that um, Void Pitch uh, die color and maybe helps prepare you to start uh, f making veteran runs eventually once you uh, feel comfortable running it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.